هل في عبرة لنا في خروج الإخوة من دمج؟ لا خروج الإخوة من دمج؟ أقول الإخوة لا يملكون دمج ولا يشمون كذاب. نعم. غالبهم واحدون على دمج من العالم. وإذا كان خروجهم يؤدي إلى مصلحة الحمد لله. نعم. أقول الإسلام جاء ب المصالح وتكميلها ودرى المفاسد وتقليلها واذا كان في خروج خيرا ونفع للمسلمين سد للفكره على باس الحمد لله ونشر العلم لا يقتصر على العلم فيحصل نشر العلم في اي مكان في العالم والحمد لله انهم الان يعني مركز جماج لا شك انه مركز عظيم من يؤسسه الامام العالم العظيم الشيخ مقتل هذا الوالد رحمه الله رحمه الله شيخ وهذا المركز اصبح في الحقيقه نافعا للعالم ولا يقتصر نفعه على اليمن بل اصبح نافعا للعالم الاسلامي وخالف طلبه العلم في امريكا واوروبا ثم من تتكرر على الشيخ وانت هذا المركز دورا عظيما في بيان التوحيد وعقيده السلف الصالح ودعوه الى السنه والى منهج السلف الصالح ولكن قد حصلت فتن بين الاخوان وحصلت فرقه وتوجع طلبه العلم في البلاد اليمنيه وفي غيرها وبقي منهم بقيه في هذا المركز النافع العظيم لكن هذه الفتنه ادت بهم الى الرحيله والاتفاق مع دولتهم إلى أن يرحلوا إلى مكان آخر. ونسأل الله عز وجل أن يكون أمي هذا خيرا لهم. لا نشكت لا نشكت لهم. ولا ندري أين الخير فلعل الخير يكون في رحيلهم لا في بقائهم. نعم. نعم. جزاك الله خير يا شيخ. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. أما بعد أيها الأحباب شيخنا سعيد Bin Halein Hafidullahu Ta'ala was asked about the Merkis Azim and the sad loss that we took Ahl Sunnah in general and the Muslims uh, Ahl Sunnah specifically and the Muslims in general by the loss of Merkis Damaj. The Shaykh was asked, Hafidullahu Ta'ala, is there a lesson for us in the brothers in Damaj having to leave? And for those who are unaware that the Shia Rafida uh, were killing the Muslims there, Ahl Sunnah, fighting them, and the government of Yemen uh, arbitrated and ruled that the brothers, the students of knowledge, should leave the place. So the Sheikh was asked, Is there a lesson for us in the brothers in Damaj having to leave? The Sheikh said, Hafidullah Ta'ala. No, the brothers do not own Damaj. Or he said, no, the brothers do not own Damaj. Most of them are foreigners to Damaj from all over the world. If there is benefit in them leaving Damaj, then all praise belongs to Allah. Islam gives preference to that which has benefit and reconciliation, giving preference to removing the harm and peacefulness. So if their leaving is better for the Muslims and repels the harm and fitna, then no problem in that. All praise belongs to Allah. Spreading knowledge is not restricted to Damaj, and places of knowledge are spread around the world. No doubt the Merkaz of Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi, Merkaz Damaj, was a magnificent mer Merkaz. It began with the Imam, great Alam, Sheikh Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi, may Allah have immense mercy upon him. That Merkaz gave benefit to the world and was not restricted to Yemen. It gave benefit to the world, and students of knowledge from America and Europe graduated from there. He had many students as well, and it held a very high place in clarifying Tawheed and Dawah to the Sunnah and the creed of the righteous predecessors and the methodology of the Salaf as salih However, there was some fitna that occurred between the brothers and division. The students from all over returned to their places and throughout Yemen, and some remained in the great and beneficial Merkaz. But there was an agreement with their enemy for them to leave and go to another place. And we ask Allah the Almighty to make that better for them. Do not feel sorrow for them.
We do not know where the good lies. Perhaps it was better for them to leave. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the those who were killed from Ahl Sunnah and bless them with Jannah of Ardos. And may Allah forgive the Muslims everywhere and bless the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere. And those who had to make hijrah from their place of residence, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with ikhlas, with the bat, and bless them with financial, uh, with wealth, and bless them with health them and their families and secure them in a place even greater for them to seek knowledge and to learn kitab Allah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to spread it around the world wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam